Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com, and we're at the 2013 New York International Auto Show looking at Chevrolet's updated Camaro, which has new styling, a few other tweaks, and most importantly, the reissuing of GM's Camaro Z28, which is a track-tuned version of this car. It's right behind me. Let's take a closer look. You get around the back, and I'm not really sure what GM was trying to do with the taillights, which have been now joined. They look a little bit like the uh, late 90s Honda Prelude, not as iconic as the last Camaro's taillights, which have now been integrated into several other Chevrolet products. Not sure why the new Camaro is suddenly departing from that. Functional hood vents now on the Camaro uh, extract heat from the engine bay. They also provide downforce. Um, you'll notice that the Z28 doesn't have fog lights. The fact is, it doesn't have a lot of features, and that's in the name of weight savings. 20-inch uh, wheels that are available on the Camaro have moved down to 19-inch wheels here. These are shod in massive Pirelli high-performance tires. These are 30530 ZR19s, front and rear. Behind them are carbon ceramic brakes. Um, this car, GM says, weighs about 100 pounds less than a Camaro SS, 300 pounds less than the high-performance Camaro ZL1. This comes despite the fact that it has a larger displacement engine than either car. This is a 7-liter V8 under the hood now, uh, 500 horsepower and 470-plus pound-feet of torque. General Motors doesn't have an exact number on that yet. Runs to the rear wheels through a 391 rear axle. There's a helical limited slip differential. Pretty high-performance stuff there. Transmission is a Tremec six-speed manual here, and the car's been lowered about an inch and a quarter versus the Camaro SS with a track-tuned suspension here. Um, typical of weight savings, GM really tried to do everything they could. Um, this car has optional air conditioning. The stereo speakers have been removed. There's one speaker left up here next to the driver. GM says that that is required. It's for things like hearing your turn signals. Um, so they did leave the radio in, which works through one speaker. I'm guessing it doesn't sound very good. Recaro racing seats go in the Z28. They grip you very, very tightly. Uh, the ergonomic issues that the Camaro's always had remain. Things like door handles that are kind of way down here and uh, sight lines that really aren't very good. One kind of cool thing, they made the rear view mirror in the center here uh, thinner now. It's now frameless, so it doesn't actually take up that much space uh, of your forward visibility. Um, back seat, still tiny, but come on, it's a Z28. Who cares? With all of its performance cues, the Camaro Z28 may actually start north of the ZL1, um, which is the current top dog among Camaros. General Motors officials say pricing will be announced closer to the car's on-sale date, so stay tuned for that, which happens this coming spring.